This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! On the verdant expanse of the football field, amidst the backdrop of the 49ers rookie minicamp, one player's prowess shone brighter than the rest, casting a shadow of dominance over the hour-long practice session. As the sun beat down upon the field, and without the weight of pads constraining their movements, the athletes engaged in a seven-on-seven -seven scrimmage, where the clash of talent was palpable, yet one standout figure emerged from the fray. Positioned at the left corner, this exceptional player exuded an air of invincibility, his defensive prowess rendering him virtually untouchable. In a display of masterful technique, he thwarted every attempt to breach his domain, exhibiting an aggressive style of press man-to-man -man coverage that left opposing receivers grasping at thin air. With lightning-quick reflexes and a keen eye for opportunity, he employed strategic hand placement to disrupt the rhythm of would-be pass catchers, stifling their advances before they could gain momentum. Even in the face of a cunning double move by Ricky Pearsall, this defensive stalwart remained unfazed, though a questionable moment arose when he resorted to a grab at the peak of the route, escaping the notice of absent officials. Yet, despite this minor indiscretion, his dominance remained unblemished, his only flaw a testament to the intensity of his commitment to victory. In the realm of offensive contribution, his impact was equally profound. Demonstrating a versatility that transcended mere defensive prowess, he showcased his offensive capabilities with a pair of precise receptions during seven-on-seven -seven drills. With swift agility, he maneuvered through coverage, creating separation and presenting himself as a viable target for his quarterback. His presence on the field was a beacon of reliability, a testament to his all-encompassing skill set. However, amidst the triumph of one, there also lay the tale of another. For Ricky Pearsall, this day served as a stark contrast to the brilliance of his counterpart. Despite his best efforts, he found himself ensnared in the web of relentless press coverage, unable to break free from the suffocating grip of his adversaries. Targeted four times yet unable to secure a single reception, his struggles epitomized the challenges faced in the crucible of competition. Yet, amidst the ebb and flow of victory and defeat, one truth remained constant, the indomitable spirit of competition that burned brightly within each player, driving them to strive for greatness with every step upon the hallowed turf. And as the echoes of the day's practice faded into the horizon, one question lingered in the minds of all who bore witness, who truly reigned supreme on the field of battle. Amidst the tumultuous journey of coaching careers, Brandon Staley's narrative took a dramatic turn from the depths of dismissal to the heights of renewal as he embarked on a new chapter with the San Francisco 49ers. His tenure with the Los Angeles Chargers had concluded with a bittersweet departure, yet the dawn of opportunity beckoned anew with his appointment as the assistant head coach for the 49ers, a role that promised to inject fresh vigor into his coaching pedigree. The decision to bring Staley into the fold unfolded against the backdrop of a coaching shuffle within the 49ers' defensive ranks. While Nick Sorensen ascended to the position of defensive coordinator, Staley's expertise was enlisted to bolster the collective wisdom of the coaching staff. It was a strategic maneuver, one that diverged from conventional wisdom but bore the hallmarks of innovative thinking, echoing the ethos of a franchise poised for greatness. For Sorensen, the infusion of Staley's seasoned perspective proved to be a boon, a guiding light illuminating the path to defensive excellence. In effusive praise, Sorensen lauded his colleague's multifaceted acumen, emphasizing Staley's holistic approach to coaching and his innate ability to craft strategic blueprints for success. Their collaborative efforts, marked by hours of intense football discourse, bore testimony to Staley's brilliance and his unwavering commitment to the pursuit of excellence. In the intricate tapestry of defensive schematics, Staley's influence permeated every facet of preparation. From dissecting opposing strategies to fine-tuning defensive alignments, his fingerprints adorned each strategic decision, underscoring his indispensability to the 49ers' quest for defensive supremacy. While his primary focus gravitated towards the secondary, his extensive experience spanned the breadth of defensive positions, lending invaluable insights to a coaching staff poised on the brink of greatness. 
Yet, amidst the optimism surrounding Staley's appointment, the delineation of his precise role remained shrouded in ambiguity. Sorensen's testimony hinted at Staley's multifaceted involvement, ranging from mentorship in play-calling to the meticulous analysis of defensive nuances. It was a symbiotic relationship, one characterized by mutual respect and a shared vision of defensive dominance. As the 49ers embarked on the arduous task of recalibrating their defensive identity, the specter of past shortcomings loomed large. The pitfalls of previous experiments, most notably the ill-fated blitz-heavy strategy of Steve Wilkes, served as cautionary tales, underscoring the imperative for measured adjustments. In Staley, the 49ers found a beacon of stability, a guiding force poised to steer the defense towards a path of sustained success. With the dawn of a new era beckoning on the horizon, the 49ers stand at the precipice of defensive greatness, fueled by the collective genius of a coaching staff united in purpose. In the crucible of competition, where victories are forged through meticulous preparation and unwavering resolve, the early signs of Staley's impact bode well for a franchise on the cusp of greatness. As the NFL draft unfolded and the San Francisco 49ers made their move to secure running back Isaac Garendo in the fourth round, a sense of deja vu permeated the minds of fans, echoing past disappointments and failed endeavors. The history of the team's forays into drafting running backs, marked by a series of unfulfilled promises and dashed hopes, cast a shadow of skepticism over Garendo's acquisition. Kyle Shanahan's previous attempts at bolstering the running back core through the draft had yielded mixed results at best, leaving many questioning the wisdom of investing it again in a position fraught with uncertainty. Indeed, the annals of 49ers draft history are littered with cautionary tales of running backs who failed to live up to expectations. From Joe Williams to Trey Sermon, the list of prospects who failed to make a lasting impact on the field is a sobering reminder of the pitfalls inherent in the draft process. Yet amidst the skepticism and apprehension, Garendo's arrival heralded a glimmer of hope, a beacon of potential amidst the shadows of doubt. With a blend of athleticism and raw talent that bordered on the extraordinary, Garendo possessed the physical tools to excel in Shanahan's offensive system. His explosive speed and agility made him a tantalizing prospect, capable of thriving in both zone and gap scheme runs, as evidenced by his stellar performance at the Combine. But beyond the allure of his physical gifts, it was Garendo's unique journey to the NFL that set him apart from his predecessors. Unlike many of his peers, Garendo's path to the professional ranks was marked by perseverance and patience. Five seasons of collegiate football, punctuated by sporadic opportunities and fleeting moments of glory, instilled in him a resilience that belied his relative inexperience. Despite limited playing time and a modest college carry count, Garendo embraced his role as a backup, viewing it not as a hindrance but as an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. I think if I were to let it bother me, it probably wouldn't allow me to be ready for those moments when I did get them, Garendo reflected on his time spent on the sidelines. So I just continued to have that patient mindset so that I could be ready for those moments. Indeed, it is this very mindset, this unwavering determination to persevere in the face of adversity, that sets Garendo apart from his peers. While others may have wilted under the weight of expectation, Garendo remained steadfast in his belief that his time would come, that his moment in the spotlight was just around the corner. And now, as he embarks on the next chapter of his football journey with the San Francisco 49ers, Garendo finds himself in a position of immense opportunity. Tasked with backing up the dynamic Christian McCaffrey, he embraces the challenge with open arms, eager to prove his worth and carve out a niche for himself in Shanahan's offense. With outstanding measurables and a limited college carry count that bodes well for his longevity in the NFL, Garendo stands poised to defy the odds and emerge as a key contributor for the 49ers. And as he takes his first steps onto the hallowed turf of Levi Stadium, he does so not as a mere draft pick, but as a symbol of resilience and determination, a testament to the power of perseverance in the face of adversity. Now it's your time to interact with us, leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.